My sister Hannah went around and she found some ticks on my tortoises. So the ticks normally are gonna hide right up here. Guys, do you see that right there? Oh, I already see a tick on his neck. There's definitely something right here. I'm gonna reach in. Guys, come take a look at this. What is up everyone and welcome. Oh my, lemurs, they're screaming guys, sorry. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jacob, nice to meet you, and welcome to my jungle. Right now, you just heard some of my jungle kids right now. We had Rue and Rufus, the black and white lemur. Hello, Rue. Hey, Rue, why are you being mean to me? Rue has been not so nice lately. Rue, my black and white lemur, is actually going into heat. The lemur breeding season is starting up. Rue is about to be two years old, so we might have some lemur babies come soon. And before we go any further, I have to pick a name for our snapping turtle. I said we were gonna pick a name. I was gonna shout out the winners, so I went through all the comments, and I wanna give a special shout out to Emma Olet and MJ Oropreza for picking the name Bowser for our snapping turtle. I think it's the perfect name, like Bowser from Super Mario. This is a big mean snapping turtle. Bowser's a big turtle, so I think Bowser is the perfect name. So again, thank you, Emma and MJ, for picking that name. Oh, and if I didn't pronounce you guys' names right, well, um, I'm sorry. Today's video is actually about all of my tortoises here and all over the rest of my preserve. A couple weeks ago, my sister Hannah went around and she found some ticks on my tortoises. And it's been a few weeks, so today I'm going to go do a checkup on all the tortoises and make sure that all these guys are tick free because the last thing we want is these blood sucking monsters in here sucking the blood on the tortoises. So we want to get all the ticks off. Now it's the afternoon now and we have all of the red foot tortoises out. We got over 20 red foot tortoises in this pen. We got one over here. She actually might be laying eggs. Let's see. All right. So, hey, are you, are you laying eggs? So what I want to do is kind of just take a look on some of these tortoises. If we find just one tick inside of this pen, that means that there could be literally hundreds, even thousands of the first ones I want to check out are these guys right here. What I want to do with these tortoises right here is I actually want to pick them up just like this and I want to look inside of them. If there's any signs of ticks, we'll be able to see them on the legs. Now, I'm looking and I'm not seeing much of anything here. Let's actually flip this tortoise on over just like this. This is one way we can get a nice bird's eye view of the tortoise's legs. So the ticks normally are going to hide right up here by the cloaca in this nice little wet pocket and then they're gonna hide in between the legs. This tortoise right here is actually kind of tucked away so she's not really gonna let me see. So let's kind of put her on back over just and let's take a look at this one right here. I know for a fact that this is a female. She looks like she's gonna cooperate. So come here, pretty girl. Come here, mama. So I'm just gonna flip her on over. Wait, wait, oh, I think I see something right there, guys. I think I see something. Wait, I'm sorry, mama. All right, I'm not seeing much of anything there. Another female red foot. Not say, hey, mama, I am sorry, but we gotta check your neck. We gotta investigate you for some ticks. Um, guys, do you see any ticks? Let me know. I'm looking through the camera lens. Not seeing any ticks. Now, I'm gonna put a picture on the screen of what the ticks are gonna look like. And we're not seeing any of these ticks. I'm gonna keep searching around and let's see if we can find some. Now, not only am I searching for ticks inside of this pen, but I am also searching for natural hatched baby redfoot tortoises. The past couple days, we've had a lot of rain due to Hurricane Nicole, and the rain is gonna get those eggs to hatch. If there's any nests that I missed this past season, they could very well be hatching right now. So we're gonna keep a close eye out for ticks and baby tortoises. So right here we have a young yellowfoot tortoise with one of my big adult male redfoots. So this, if you guys don't know about yellowfoot tortoises, they're very similar to the redfoots, except you can see that their feet are yellow and their shell is yellow compared to the redfoot right here, which actually has that orange feet. So, you, so right now you can see both the yellow feet on the yellowfoot and the orange feet on the redfoots, which is so cool that we have both species here kind of cohabbing, living together. So let's take a look at you, buddy. This guy's all tucked up in the shell, so not seeing any ticks on him, but let's take a look here at Gabe. Hey, Gabe. Hey, hey Gabe, have you seen any ticks here late recently? Uh, not to my knowledge. Maybe one or two here or there, but we got them off. We got them? Wait, when was the last time you saw ticks? I'd say about a week ago, but I pulled them. Really? Wait, yeah. was it on these red foots? It was on this male right here, actually, that, that you were looking at. What? Yeah, crazy, Wait, wait, right? where, was the, where was the tick? They were right under the armpit of the front legs. Really? Yeah, it was Okay. pretty crazy. All it's right, big. so, really? Like a blueberry. All right, so we're going to keep searching, Gabe. I'll see you later, bro. All right, later, All right I'm going to keep searching. Take I'll keep care, you guys. updated. You heard that, guys. Gabe found a couple ticks in here, which is actually quite <laughs> concerning. It's actually the opposite of what I want. I don't want ticks in here. So let's search around, and if we find them, we're going to exterminate them. Guys... Do you see that right there? From this angle, 
really hard to see. But when you come way down here, just like that, look at that. Natural ground hatched baby redfoot tortoise. Look at this. One of the coolest things in the world to find is a baby tortoise that hatched naturally. You can tell this guy is definitely fresh just by his size. You can see he just fits in my hand. And look at the head on this one. This little tortoise has an incredible head, but he's all dirty. So let's take him over here to the water right now. We're going to take him over to the water right here. I'm just going to kind of put him right here in the water. Let's kind of rinse him off. Oh, look at his colors. Wait, let's bring him over here to this bowl. This bowl is a little bit cleaner right here. We're going to kind of just rinse him on off. Look at that. Insane. Baby redfoot tortoise. One of the coolest finds. So we found one of these little guys right over here, but we want to kind of search this same area because if we found one baby redfoot in here, well, there could definitely be more in here. We could be dealing with anywhere from probably two to three more tortoises. I would say that natural ground hatch redfoots, you're maybe only going to find four in a clutch that hatch because a lot of them don't make it. But I've been searching around this pen for another 10 minutes and I have not seen any ticks or any other baby redfoot tortoises. So I'm gonna go get this guy set up and we're actually gonna head over to our Galapagos tortoises because it's about to be sunset and we're losing light. So I definitely wanna check those guys out before it gets dark. Well guys, we made it into our Galapagos tortoise habitat. And as you can see, this is a giant pen for these tortoises. Now, I only have two Galapagos tortoises currently living in here. And here is one of them walking over to me, curious, looking for a treat. Buddy, I don't have a treat for you. Um, I'm gonna give you some treats after, but we're gonna be searching this guy for ticks right now. Now, I wanna bring him on up right now. Oh, I already see a tick on his neck. I already see a tick on his neck right there. Oh wait, you know what? I think we're gonna need a carrot to get this tick off, so let me go get a carrot. One minute, 37 seconds later. So I've got our carrot, and if you come right here, you can kind of see this tick right here. I'm getting him distracted by eating this carrot, but there's a tick right here. You know what, I'm just gonna use my fingers it's gonna be far easier to get this tick off with my fingers. Wait, wait, oh, I got it, I got it right on my finger. Now look, we're gonna have a munch. All right, we got it, wait, I almost have it. Oh, I got it, right here. I'm not sure if you could see it, but right on the tip of my finger, there's this micro tick right here, and it almost looks like nothing, but if you were to like kind of flip them over, you could see that it's most definitely a tick. This tick right here is kind of just walking around, and we're gonna move them back to the center of my hand. Now what I want to do right now is I want to take these tweezers right here and I want to grab this tick and let's squeeze them one, two, oh, I'm not sure if you saw that, but this tick just exploded. That is exactly what we wanted. We got one tick off this Galapagos tortoise. Now I suspect that there might be a few more, so we're going to let him finish eating his carrot and then we're going to flip him over. So right now we're going to flip the Galapagos tortoise. Now you have to be very careful when you flip a big tortoise like this because you could easily break their legs. but. I'm kind of an expert at it. I've been doing this for quite a while now. Right off the bat, I found another tick right here. Second tick right here on his leg. Now we want to evenly balance him because we don't want him to hurt himself. Now we're going to try to keep him flipped over for the least amount of time as possible. But this is one strong tortoise. I mean, this guy is literally like a bulldozer. So we got to let him relax and calm his legs. As you can see, his legs have this big dragon armor and they can use that to actually tuck up into their shell and hide. So we're just gonna want him to get nice and relaxed. And then we're gonna wanna pull this leg on out just like this. Oh, I see it, it's right there. I don't know if you guys can see it too, but it's right here. Look at that, micro tick. Wait, I got it. I'm not sure, do you see it, Hannah? Yeah, I see it. Oh, look at that. Another micro tick. Now, by taking care of these ticks when they're tiny and small, that is how we're going to ensure that these ticks don't grow big and they become a serious problem. So we're gonna take this one right here. Again, we're just gonna take them and we're gonna squeeze. Oh man, that one was pretty nasty. So we got our second tick off. Now we're gonna keep looking here on the front legs. Now I don't see anything else on these guys here. These Galapagos tortoises are the largest tortoise species in the world. So when this tortoise is full grown, if it's a male, it'll be around 500 pounds. If it's a female, probably max out at around 350 pounds. But even those 500 pound males can get up to 1,000 pounds. So I'm just gonna kinda search right here, right by his cloaca vent, because this is where the ticks like to hang out. And I'm looking at something here. Not sure what it is, I think it's just dirt. I think that's just some dirt right there. I am not seeing any more ticks. Now this is a routine thing we do. And this time of year, you might only find a couple ticks. The galops right here get the ticks more than any other tortoise. So I'm looking, oh, another one. Really? <sighs> There's another one. But this is the smallest one yet. Let's see, let's get him to relax. Wait for it. 
Come here, buddy. Let me get him to relax. You see that right there? Oh, oh, one, two. Oh, I got him. Now, he's kind of hard to see, but right there, right on the tip of my finger, another micro tick right there. Now, we're going to take him just like this, and I'm just going to squeeze him, get rid of him. It looks like this big guy is tick-free, so we're going to flip him right back on over just like this. Now that we pulled ticks off this little one, we've got to go to our big one that's right over here, and we got to search her for some ticks. So we actually literally have to lure this one Galapagos tortoise out. This one Galapagos tortoise is a little bit shy, but an apple tree just like that will not stop him from coming on out. So we just gotta slowly lure this guy on out right now to check for ticks. Now, upon first glance, I don't see anything, but come on, buddy, just a little bit farther. You know, you just wanna give him just a little taste to make him wanna come back for some more. So by doing that, you can basically have the tortoise move wherever you want it. Now we're just gonna kinda look at the neck. As you can see, this tortoise is much bigger than the other Galapagos tortoise. Now by getting him to come and eat this apple, we're able to get him to extend his neck, which is gonna give us a nice bird's eye view to see if there's any ticks. Now, while you're feeding the tortoises, you gotta be careful, because if my finger were to get caught there, he would surely take it off in one chomp. So I'm not seeing any ticks right now up on the neck, but what we wanna do now is we wanna throw this apple aside. And now that this big tortoise is right here, I'm gonna kinda come right behind him, just like this. It's gonna be quite a, really hard to do, but we're gonna grab him, as you can see. Massive Galapagos tortoise right here. And I've got him down just like that. As you can see, this is one giant tortoise. Not small by any means. About four years ago, this tortoise was about 67 pounds. Now I can only guess around 160 pounds, maybe more. So what we wanna do is we wanna do the same thing is we wanna come right over here to the legs and we're gonna search all the insides of the legs. The nice little hiding spots that the ticks will wanna live. Now, I don't see anything on that side. And I'm looking on this side right here, and I think I see something. No, not too sure. There's definitely something right here. I'm gonna reach in. Guys, come take a look at this. I'm not sure if you can see, but right here, wait, I got it. Let me pull it on out, look at that. I think if I'm right, yeah, this is it. This was a ginormous tick that is now dried up. As you can see, this is a flat tick, and you can see these little feet right there, but definitely a tick. But this guy is dried up and that's exactly what we want. We want these tortoises tick free. We're gonna flick that on that way. And we're continue searching, but I'm not really seeing anything on this big tortoise right here. I've done a thorough search and it looks like this guy is tick free. So I'm gonna flip him back on over right now because we don't wanna keep him flipped over. Are you going? Because I don't wanna keep him flipped over for too much longer. So I'm gonna just rest him on down just like that. We're gonna let our big Galapagos tortoise go. And well, that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video, removing ticks from my incredible tortoises. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you wanna see more of these tick videos. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet to me, you wanna see more of these guys. You wanna see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals. Well, guys, all you have to do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you all be notified whenever I post.